What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I just wanted to really make this video because I'm actually out at Nationals at this beautiful lake right here. Um, and tomorrow's second day of practice. I wanted to film a video not only updating you guys but saying a few things. In fact, since I can't really, you know, film too much and, you know, produce a lot of content right now of fishing. And so I wanted to throw out this video just for you guys and um, talk a little bit. So guys, we're gonna get this angle of the lake in the background and everything. I just like to start off this video by saying thank you guys so much for the support. Um, everything that you guys do, you know, is absolutely amazing and um, just supporting me along my journey is just phenomenal. I'd, I'd just like to say a few things as in, I, I would really appreciate if everyone who clicked on this video would please, you know, watch it all the way through. You know, that would really mean a lot to me. Um, just because I would love for you guys to hear um, everything I want to say and because it's coming deep down um, and I want to talk to you guys. So I'm trying my best recently to respond to a lot of comments, um, to communicate more with you guys. You know, if I see one of you guys in public, you know, I'm spending as much time as possible to talk to you guys, to get to know you guys. And, you know, that that's what I love. That's my biggest thing. I, I love it so much and it's, it's just amazing um, to be able to sit here and talk to you guys. Well, actually driving up here, um, the, it took three days. This is a 24 hour trip. We're actually in Minnesota right now. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, my college is in Savannah, Georgia, and it was like a, literally like a 24 hour drive um, up here. I vlogged a lot along the way. Those videos will be coming out in the next couple of days. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. But driving up here, guys, on that 24-hour trip, I met, you know, a pretty decent amount of fans, and um, it's just crazy, you know? It's just absolutely awesome that I can literally travel, you know, around around the world, or around the United States, and just, you know, meet you guys, and get to see you guys, and talk to you guys, get to know you. And there's really nothing better than that or better than you know there's nothing in this community or in, in in this whole fishing thing that I'm doing better than meeting people that I inspire meeting people that enjoy my content meeting people that you know I might end up having a long-term relationship with you know it's just amazing and driving up here those 24 hours I actually met you know multiple fans I actually popped a tire which will be coming up in a recent uh, a recent uh, new video coming out in the next couple of days I actually popped a tire driving up here of course I just knew it was gonna happen you know I blew the tire and I actually had a fan stop on the highway which is just insane you know that that's unreal I that, that's awesome you know he's, he stopped and he just wanted to say hey and he also saw if we were okay, okay like that seriously that means a lot to me and like when people come up to me and people talk to me it's just it's just real you know it's just 100 percent real and talking to people that i've never met before that they seem like they know me so well and then me talking to you and then getting to know you is just awesome but coming up here meeting a lot of fans just went to the meet and greet uh for the tournament where you know every, every all the colleges lined up they actually featured my truck and boat which was awesome big shout out to bass for that um for scad and uh met some fans there as well which is just it's just insane guys like I, i'm literally 24 hours away at home and it just really hit me like when i when i sat there and thought about it is you know i'm literally meeting people a day's worth of time like of just driving like all the way across the you it's just unreal I, I just can't believe it it's just insane it, it's just awesome and i can't say nothing more than like just thank you guys like it's just it's unreal it's it's really unreal and um just all you guys to support me thank you so much uh, that's really what i wanted to say but i'm going to kind of go into some details with the tournament but seriously deep down in my heart thank you guys so much if you ever see me in public Please come up and talk to me. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. I don't care if I seem busy. I'll take time to talk to you guys because um, that's what that's what matters to me the most. Um, even if I'm in a situation, you know, just come up, come talk to me. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Seriously, just walk up, introduce yourself. I love it. You know, I, I won't see it rude at all if I'm having a conversation with someone and you sit on the side for just a few seconds and I notice and you know you introduce yourself to me and. That, that's what I love. That's that's what I love seeing. It's just phenomenal. It's just amazing. Well, for this tournament that we're going to be fishing, guys, 
is on Lake Bemidji in Minnesota, very small lake. All right, we went out today and caught a lot of toothy fish. <laughs> All right, a lot of toothy fish. And uh, also, I, I got a solid one too, like a four pounder. Um, but not much, you know, it, it wasn't it wasn't too much. And talked to tons of people that really didn't even catch a bass, you know, and it's just trying to find those fish. You, know, We have two more days of practice. Uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, the day that you guys are watching this, I'll be practicing while you guys are watching this video. Um, and then Wednesday we practice. Thursday's first day of the tournament. Friday's the second day. After Friday, they pick the top 12 to move on to Saturday. And Saturday, everyone to compete, the top 12. Then they take the top four and they move them on to Monday on a different lake. It's the top four teams. They split them up into individuals, so there's just eight of you. It's a bracket round, all right? There's three days of that. And you'll be going head to head. It's just me versus some other dude, or, you know, Jimbo versus Chris or whoever it is and uh, they'll beat that out whoever wins that whole bracket round will actually get a free ticket to the Bassmaster Classic which is a dream so you know it's gonna be amazing we're gonna get out there grind these next two days it's, this is one of these lakes that's so small and there's like 90 boats that's so gonna be really hard to really pound out a few days of good fish without people getting in your way but rather than that you know I think it should be really great um, rather than that's just the experience, you know, I've never fished an event up this far before, um, up north. So that's, that's really cool. You know, I've been the rainy lake. We fished the Scott Martin, Scott Martin challenge, um, with him. We did that last summer. Awesome. Awesome video. If you guys can go, if, if you ever see it on TV, definitely watch it. It's a really cool video. Um, I actually got to fish a roll in Martin, but we fished rainy lake. That's about, that's in Canada. And, uh, but I've never fished like a real tournament you know up north which is cool you know i mean this is the national championship this is my freshman year of college and so this is my first national championship and just totally pumped about it but um yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a grinder i'm gonna be trying to film as much as possible along the way but at the same time i'm gonna film as much as i can but then again i'm not gonna try to make it to where the film's really getting in the way of me focusing and and I know you guys can understand that because, you know, this is like a national championship, but I'm going to film as much as possible. You best bet the GoPros are going to be running during the tournament, and I'll be getting a lot of footage. I might not be talking to the GoPros a lot because of the wind and stuff, and, it, like, I know you guys can hear it right now. It's probably so bad. But uh, <laughs> I'll definitely be filming it. I can make something out of it, and it'd be great. But I just wanted to make this video updating you guys what I'm doing and why I haven't been posting as many, many fishing videos the past couple of times. Um... It's just because I'm kind of like on the road from uh, on a 24-hour trip to the national championship. And I just kind of want to update you guys on that. Tell you guys a big thank you because I really want to be where I'm at today without you guys, friends, family, you know, my fishing coach, and just everyone else. I really want to be where I'm at today if it wasn't. I mean, the base on everything that I've achieved is from you guys. Like, literally, it's from you guys and you guys supporting my journey and you guys helping me grow and me getting to talk to you. It's just freaking awesome, guys. I, I, I can't express it much more. I really can't, but I'm gonna walk around. I'll show you a little bit of the lake. I just like to say a big thank you and then we'll close out the video. So first of all, guys, that's Bemidji. That's Lake Bemidji, pretty clear water, you know, it's all that um this is just some crazy all right we're staying in this hotel right here this is just some crazy like temple thing i don't, I don't know what it is and it's just I, I just thought it was cool to come film out here i mean why not right and crazy i i don't even know what this is um it was just out here trucking boats actually over there that's where i'm at that's where we're gonna be putting in in the morning hotel I'm gonna be staying at and then here's Lake Bemidji um, this place is actually really nice you know it's something a little different you know it's it's something totally different you know the view of the lake is just absolutely phenomenal it's just if there's gonna be a lot of bass in here and we're gonna be able to catch them that's the biggest thing you know I just I just want to get on these fish and do really good in this championship but getting them get on getting on them in practice always isn't the thing to do you know like it's just all comes down during the tournament if you're gonna catch them Sorry about the wind if it's really bad, but this lake, it may seem super big, but I promise you it is super small. It's just a big bowl. Literally the islands that you can see or the trees that you can see way in the distance is literally the other side of the lake. And then right here, it ends right here and it ends right there. Like it is not big at all, I promise you. 
I would love to show you more, but that wind is just outrageous, and I don't even know how the audio is going to turn out in this video. But you know, making this post tomorrow because I want to update you guys. I have more videos coming out, you know, Thursday and Sunday. I'll be sure to get those done for you guys. You know, just because this tournament's coming up does not mean I'm not going to be working. I'm going to be working on these videos, getting them out to you guys for content for you guys to watch. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Be sure to please like this video. That would mean a lot. Um, please like this video. Comment below something about the channel, something you want to see, what type of videos you want to see. And uh, I'll expand on that with the ideas. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell as well. Overall, guys, out. Beautiful. Lake Bemidji, Minnesota. Be sure to come to the weigh-in. You know, information's online. Go on Bassmaster.com, go to college. If you guys are in the area, you guys are up north, be sure to come to the weigh-in. Alright, I'm just being honest. I don't know if they, like, bury bodies in there or something. That's kind of freaky. I just noticed that. I'm going to kind of walk away now. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. You guys mean so much to me, and I'll catch you guys in the next.